What's up everyone? It is Jessica. Today, actually, I started filming this earlier when I was still in PJs and like not makeup, so you'll see me there too. But I desperately have needed to go through my vanity, take everything out, reorganize, go to my makeup collection and kind of switch things out and breathe some fresh life into this area. Right now, I'm doing a lot more simple looks and I'm getting ready as quickly as I can most days. And so because of that, I feel like I need to simplify what I have going on in here. I need a little bit less uh, in front of me each morning when I'm getting ready. So that's kind of my goal today is to have a little bit of breathing room in there. And of course, I'm always trying out new products. And so when I'm getting new things that I'm buying for videos or just because I want to try them, I want to have room to be able to put those in here over the next month or two. So last time I felt like I had too much. So anytime I was getting a couple of new things in here and there, I wouldn't really have the room, so that's why it ended up being just kind of messy, and I'll show you what it looks like now. So let's kick it to Jessie from a couple of hours ago. Today we're gonna be doing a little vanity decluttering. I need to get ready for the day, and I'm literally eating lunch, like, <laughs> as we speak, I've got some leftovers here. But um, I needed to kind of go through here, take things out. I did this a couple of months ago. I can link it below. Hold on, allergies. Anyways, I did it a couple of months ago and I desperately need to do it again. I've taken things out of here for videos and then they never made their way back. And so I feel like I keep going back and forth between my like makeup collection storage in here. So I'm like, okay, it's been two months. It is time to declutter this, get some fresh things in here, switch things out. Figured I'd bring you guys along as I always do. Actually, what I'm eating today for lunch is this like, chicken and wild rice soup we made in the slow cooker. I don't have the recipe online. Our weekly vlog we just put up, I can link below and in it I show the recipe. It's like written on a card. So it's so delicious. Anyway, nothing to do with anything. I need to get ready for the day. You guys, it's like 1230 and I'm still in PJs. I'm like, all right, Jessica, come on, get it together today. So this is what we're working with now. I have pulled in some newer products I'm using, but then I still have this stuff from a few months ago. And then, yeah, I just feel like there's certain products I'm missing. Like I don't have a powder blush in here at all and I would like to have one. I don't have many eyeshadows in here anymore because I pulled them to do a video and I haven't brought many back. I have just started using this though, by the way. The ColourPop Blush Crush Palette. It's so pretty, you guys. Also, this mascara, the L'Oreal Bambi Eye, is, I think, actually, like, starting to get really old. So I'm like, all right, I really need to open a new one. So yeah, that is the project for this early afternoon. Okay, so we have got some coffee. You guys, look at how cute this mug is. I found it on Amazon. I finally got it in the mail. It's like a little watercolor Disney castle. Anywho, so I've got the goods. So I'm going to just kind of take things out. Anything I think I want to keep in here, I'm going to put in this clear one. Anything that needs to go back in my collection for now, it's going to go in this basket. Let's get started. One thing I wanted to point out, these are very, very similar. I'm still playing with both of them. Um, but like, obviously the Tarte is way more expensive. If you're wanting to see if you would even like the Tarte, I would start with the CoverGirl one and make sure you like that just as a PSA. I'm such a liar. I did have a powder blush in here. I thought I didn't, but here one is, it was hiding behind all of that, but I think I'm going to try something else. This mascara here dried out so weirdly fast. Um, I don't know what the deal is, so I kind of regret getting it. I bought it for that Hillary Duff video, but um, I don't know. I think this one has to go. I just end up with flakes all over my face, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And there's another powder blush. I This one I recently added though. All right, so we have a pretty good split here. I've got a lot of things that are gonna go back for now. A lot of things I love, but I just know like, I'm trying to use up this SPF from Paula's Choice that I love, it's almost gone. And then I will probably go back to my collection to grab like the glow screen. I'm absolutely loving this. I mentioned it in my May faves, but I also know I need to finish up this is SPF before it expires. So we'll talk more about everything I'm keeping in here in just a bit. Let's go to my makeup collection. Okay, so if it sounds or looks different, I just switched to my other camera while we're in here. Um, so looking at my lip products here, I don't keep a lot in there. I typically say I just keep like a lip balm for sure. I'm I am still loving this Wander Beauty Lip Retreat, so that is definitely gonna go with me. I think I'll grab this Buxom Gloss too. I just love how plumping it is and it's such a quick like kind of throw it on and go type of product. For palettes, I desperately need to be using these palettes. I have so many that I love 
and I feel like if it's not over there, I'm not using it. So I need to be really thoughtful about what I bring over. I'm thinking about the Sultry palette because I love it. I think you can't get your hands on anymore, but it's just one of these that I love and I haven't used in a very, very long time. And again, because I love it so much, I think I'm gonna bring my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette over. All right, so looking at face products, I have already kept my Misha BB cream that I love. I always have on hand. I'm also really enjoying the L'Oreal Age Perfect. So, and I already have, maybe I will put back the Paracon MD. I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot, but I have used it a lot lately. So I think I might put that back. And actually, you know what? I wanna give the L'Oreal True Match Illumia a try. I haven't tried this in a very long time. So that is gonna go. I think that's probably good. Concealer wise, I did end up keeping my little Bobbi Brown corrector that I love. I think I'm gonna move the Age Rewind from Maybelline over. I really haven't used primers a lot lately because I've been using like a glowy SPF in place of a primer, things like that. But I do like to at least have one as an option. Actually, this is one I haven't used in a while. The Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. I'm gonna bring this over because I I really have, I loved this when I used it and I haven't used it in a hot minute. Um, eye primer wise, do I want to bring an eye primer over? I do want to bring over this little single shadow from L'Oreal in Amber Rush. It's one of my favorites. I talked about it in my dupes video that it is a dupe for the MAC pigment and tan. Um, so that one is going to go over. And I think I'm going to bring over the ColourPop Shadow in Birthday Cake. I think it's limited edition, but it's just one of my favorites. Brow product wise, I already have a brow product. I already have a liner. Um, mascara wise, I need to use up the Hypnose Drama. I don't want it to go bad. So I think that's what I'm going to move over. Blush, let me see. I already have the L'Oreal Age Perfect Blush. For blush, I'm going to move over the Flower Beauty Blush Balm and this Bare, Min Bare Minerals Blurred Buff. I'm gonna bring over the Hourglass highlighter. Bronzer wise, I already have the Fenty Cream Bronzer I'm still trying out, so that I know I'm gonna be using. So I might grab maybe a powder bronzer. Actually, maybe I'll bring this over so then I'd have like a bronzery option and then also a powder highlight. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo. Powder wise, I did keep the L'Oreal one and I've got the an under eye powder I'm already using. I do like to have at least one loose powder over there. Um, I did previously have the Ma the Maybelline one, but maybe I'll bring over the Laura Mercier classic one. All right, so we've got a pile going here. I'm gonna bring these back in there and let's organize it. All right, so we've got it all over here. I also like to grab like a clean little washcloth. I just bought a cheap pack of these years ago and I use them for just kind of to have laying out on my tabletop while I'm getting ready. Um, and then I can just throw them in the wash and they're consistently reusable, you know. And then a clean, like, little hair tie type thing I like to have. So I switched that out. That These, of course, I switch out, honestly, like every week. But just figured it was worth mentioning. All right, so it is time to organize all of this. Uh, typically, this is when I discover, like, oh, crap, I forgot to grab a, you know, whatever, foundation. Anyway, so we will see if we end up missing anything. Let's organize. This is the best part. I have to admit, this doesn't feel right. I actually have like a lot of room, but I think last time I had a lot of stuff in there and it was all stuff I was loving or using. But right now, since a lot of us are still at home more often than not, I just feel like I needed to simplify what was in here for at least the next maybe month or two, just because I knew what I was reaching for on a daily basis and it was slightly different than normal. So this is definitely a lot more simplified comparatively. And I have a feeling as, you know, I am buying new products for videos, a lot of those are going to sneak their way into here as I'm trying them out. So it's kind of nice to have all of that extra room back there, a little bit of breathing room. So let's go through what we've got going on. Okay, so in this drawer, we have a couple of powders, my number seven powder, the L'Oreal Creamy Powder Foundation I've been using. I definitely do like, but the more I use it, it definitely can look a little bit powdery, so something to be aware of, but that number seven is my favorite under eye. And like I said, I just haven't used the Laura Mercier loose powder in a really long time. I've got some like single shadows, like I mentioned. This Maybelline shadow in Dusty Rose is one of the absolute best like single look shadows ever. It's so peachy and pretty and I know it's sold out in a lot of places online but I've seen it in person in some stores too but it's just amazing. I cannot stop using that. It's like three dollars. 
the little Charlotte Tilbury duo, like I mentioned. This is the Fenty Cream Bronzer I am still using and trying. I'm still not sure how I feel about it, if I'm being honest with you. So I'm still trying that out. Um, and I love these Bare Minerals blushes. I was loving the MAC ones for so long, the Glow Play ones that are kind of a cream to powder. So I finally am giving that one a break because I literally use it every single day. I use it again today. So I love these Bare Mineral ones too. So that's one that needs a little more love, the Age Perfect blush. It's a really pretty blush shade. This is in the shade Rosewood, but it ends up looking kind of glowy on the cheeks and I really really like it I don't feel like I need a highlighter when I'm using that back here I have another product I've been loving lately the physician's formula natural defense multicolor stick it's just this really pretty kind of cheek color and it's creamy it blends in so easily oh my gosh if you're fairer than I am, I don't think it'll work, but otherwise it's so gorgeous. Hourglass Highlight Stick in Champagne Flash I think is gorgeous. It looks so pretty on the cheekbones. This is one of those kinds of products that when I use it, I feel like I get a lot of compliments. And then my favorite Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Pinched. I just bought a new one of that recently, so I'm excited to have that again. And then I've got the Buxom Gloss in the shade Claire, which is nice and plumping. I love it. The Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara, honestly not one of my faves. Just want to use it up. It's okay. I tried it recently in a video again, and it had been like years. And I don't think it's terrible, but you can get way better or at least the same at the drugstore. The Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm still trying out the L'Oreal Age Perfect one that's new to me. Loving this dupe I found for the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter. This is the Revlon Colorstay Micro. Teeny tiny liner. So amazing for doing just like a really tight line near your lashes. And I love it. I've used that every single day since I discovered it. The Bobbi Brown Corrector I love. Still using the Benefit Cabral for my brows. I wear the shade 3.5 using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner for my liner, that's what I use today. This side will be even quicker. I've got my uh, washcloth and hair thing. I My Polish Choice SPF, which like I said, that will eventually be replaced with the glow screen again, because I'm loving that. This I've been using on my under eyes. It's from Murad. I'm liking it. I don't know that I'm noticing a like difference in the fact that like my dark circles are like lighter necessarily, but I like using an eye cream during the day anyway, so that's kind of been serving that purpose. I mentioned the Peter Thomas Roth. I love this for like filling in your pores, especially on your nose. But this one, I, I definitely wanted to give more love. I don't want it to go bad because it's a really good primer. Again, gonna continue trying the L'Oreal Lumi and the Misha BB Cream is my all-time favorite. And I'm really enjoying, this is what I'm wearing today, the Age Perfect Serum Foundation. It's got like medium coverage, SPF of 50, radiant and beautiful on the skin. I'm just really enjoying that. I already mentioned these two and my Sultry palette and that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know I love doing them. For me, it's kind of like a really good way to force myself to switch this out because obviously it doesn't take a lot of time but it's still one of those projects that I'm like you, you just kind of put off until you're like okay I absolutely have to do it obviously I'm a weird person and this is just the way my system works because this is my job to try out makeup you know that's at least part of my job I it's kind of nice to have my collection separate from where I'm getting ready. I've been enjoying that lately. I used to have it all in the same room. So this is still new, a newer system to me, but it's nice because I can have my little collection of products that I'm genuinely loving and using right now all together. Whereas before I feel like I would have those, but because I was right next to my makeup collection, I would just be pulling in new stuff all the time. So I really wasn't focusing in on the handful of products that I was trying to focus in on. I've been doing these videos for years. If you wanna see any of my vanity tour declutter type videos slash everyday makeup drawers, I've called them a lot of things over the years and they've looked different over the years as well. But if you're in the mood to binge watch some of them, I can link my playlist down below. I, I think I've ordered the playlist so that it's like, the most recent stuff is at the top and then it goes back to farther, farther in time. Of course, if you enjoyed, I hope that you'll subscribe. I've got lots of videos this style coming up and definitely check out some of my other videos. I'll link some of my most binge worthy ones down in the description box and of course up in the eye. I'd love to chat with you guys on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.